Ooh, squint your eyes. The figure shows a circle centered around the origin with an angle of measured theta radians in standard position. Uh, the terminal ray of the angle, which means, well, you'll see, uh, intersects the circle at point P. So that's my terminal ray. Uh, and point R also lies on the circle right there. The coordinates of P are X, Y. The coordinates of R are X negative Y, which the following is true about the sine of theta. So let's label a few things. All right, your X, Y, your X negative Y. And I care about sine. And when I'm dealing with unit circle, I'm really thinking stuff like sine theta equals Y over my radius. Now that comes from the idea of right angle trigonometry, where if I were to take uh, a theta, right, and you know, I could draw this right here, okay, this is y units long, this is x units long, that's r units long, because you know, that is an x coordinate, that's a y coordinate, r is my radius, and sine comes from so, you know, so, so Katoa, opposite over hypotenuse, so that's where sine theta equals y over r. In this case, I know what r is, okay? r is five. So I could say sine theta, in this case, is y over five. And so when I look at my options here, the only option that matches that y over 5 is going to be d. Sine theta is y over 5. Because if the ratio of the blah, 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 I'm pretending to read it because it's terrible, it's awful. But sine theta is y over 5 due to the fact that we have this, you know, basic trig uh, concept. Sine theta equals y over r. So yeah, I probably overcomplicated it. And maybe this problem overcomplicated it, but don't overcomplicate it. It's not that bad.